Right then guys, so here we are outside Mr. P's Bugner Regis. Um, what I'm going to do now, now we have an opening date for uh, Mr. P's Classic Amusements in Fairham, which is March the 30th. I'm going to take my first drive down there. I've never actually been down, I've never actually been on site. Uh, it is an unofficial visit, there's no invite or anything like that. I'm just going to go down, have a look, see what the situation is, see what parking's like, check out the weather spoons next door. All that kind of jazz and goodness. And obviously let you guys have a quick look or first look at the arcade. Again, it probably will just be from outside, but uh, never know, might knock on and Dave might be in, who knows. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hit the road and uh, I'll see you there. yards, your destination will be on the left. Okay, so that was complicated but not too bad. And, oh, McDonald's on the right here, that's useful to know. Your destination is on the left. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to pull over here for just for one moment guys. So. To my left hand side there is the weather spoons. I don't know if you can quite see it from the camera angle. Um, slightly further on from that we have the arcade. But there we go. So there is the uh, Lord Arthur, whatever his name is, uh, weather spoons. Next to it we have the unit which we believe uh, Mr. P's Real Fruits Ferrum will be in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and park up and uh, I'll come down and have another look.
Right, so there we go, guys. That's a Trinity Street parking paid for. It is a pain display car park. Prices are quite reasonable. Check the uh, image on screen that you're about to see. So I'll drop this on my dashboard. I've got two hours. Let's have a wander around, see how far it is to get back to the arcade. Not very far at all, I believe. I will show you other car parks in the area, just in case this one's too busy. There is another one literally just around the corner. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you again in a moment. Right then guys, so here we are at the entrance to the car park. So this is a big one-way system. This road, one directional, heading up that way. If you follow it round to the right, and then round to the right again, that brings you back down towards the arcade. If you go up there and turn right, past the Fairham pub, uh, you will find another car park called, I believe, Osborne Street West Car Park. So if you go up here, turn right, Osborne Street West Car Park, Exactly the same composition as this, it's the same layout, it's the same pay and display setup as this arcade and that is your sort of secondary parking. Alright, so here we are guys, we're outside the Lord Arthur Lee, this is probably your best um, point of interest nearby until Google Maps updates and uh, knows it as a Mr P's arcade, next door is the arcade. As you'll see from the screenshot below, it took me a little over three minutes to walk from the, uh, from the car park to the arcade. Right, let's cross over and see uh, what, if anything, we can see. I think, guys, so I just had a quick look through the uh, through the window. You can see the window on the left. There's, there's not a lot to be seen, really. Um, so I was intended not to uh, have too many prying eyes looking through it. Uh, but I'm literally sat on a chair outside of the Weatherspoons, so you can see how close Weatherspoons is to it. Um, yeah, that's about all I can tell you for today. Obviously, uh, I just wanted to come down. I wanted to have a look around, see what the situation was with parking. As you can see, it is quite a busy high street. If you want any food, drink, anything like that, you're going to be fine. There is a McDonald's up there in the distance. A little bit worried about that. Game Nation. Looks like there is an arcade opposite. Um, but yeah, so yeah, welcome to uh, where I believe is going to be the new Mr. P's Fairham. As and when more information becomes available, we will uh, be glad to share it with you. Don't forget guys, opening date is penciled in for March the 30th, which I believe is a Saturday. Um, like I say, as and when more information becomes available, we'll let you know. But for now, uh, we look forward to seeing you later on in 2024. So on the way back to the car guys, just found another car park, Malthouse Lane Car Park. This again is pretty much on that little one-way system and again I would say he's probably slightly closer to the arcade. Within the one-way system there is quite a bit of on-street parking as well but it is only very short term as you'll see from the attached screenshot. Just carrying on around the one-way system we then have the uh, Osborne Road West car park Again, very similar setup. I'll uh, show you the prices below. Right, so that's me back at the car, about to head home. Um, yeah, like I say, I hope you found this video mildly useful. I'm sure, it's uh, some of the questions that we're all going to be asking come uh, March the 30th when the place opens. As I say, in the meantime, as and when any updates become available, we'll obviously keep you posted. But for now, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you in 2024. And of course, a lot of you, we hope to uh, see you at Mr. P's Classic Amusements in Fairham. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon.